I train a lot of, about feel and a lot about gut instinct. And, you know, I think that anybody who grew up in a barn probably does that because animals change daily. But with that being said, I love to be able to put it on paper and back up how what my gut instinct is and my feel. Since I've been working around sitting on go and watching him train, I've noticed that he has a, a, an enormous stride length and it'll be interesting to see what the equimeter has picked up in comparison to some other top quality two-year-olds. I probably will analyze um, any changes in, in his maximum heart rate uh, to pinpoint maybe a, a respiratory issue or maybe a fitness issue or even a, a lameness issue. If, if we have a, a large database that we've collected through months of training and something is out of the ordinary, then we can actually dig a little bit deeper and maybe we can pick something up that's not so easily seen on the outside. What I would see this really helping us with going forward is that we, we will establish while we know he's doing very well and he's coming into the Breeders Cup with baseline of when he's good. And you know, normally like working today, I would have said he had a great work. He looked to me like he was moving well. He looked like he had plenty of energy, he finished good. You know, on recovery time by eye, I'll sit up in my clock and stand there. When they walk back past me, if I look out the window and listen to them, if they're not broke, breathing hard, and they're already settled and walking off the racetrack, then I'm assuming that their recovery time has been pretty fast. But with the technology to back it up, I think that uh, uh, both things can work hand in hand very well. And look how even it was, beats per minute. And then drops off dramatically at the end of it. Cools off fast, huh? That's pretty impressive. I think the benefit of the Equimeter's uh, stall side application is we can have the results instantaneously um, after the horse is done working out or galloping. And uh, it's, it's very easy and we can interchange it between horses and the data and the software seem very easy to use. And we can work off of that. So we see some kind of decline where the heart rate's different than it was, then you could probably, it's usually caused by some type of stress, whether it be mm -hmm pain or some illness coming on. And I think we could use this early in a horse's career to evaluate where they might be able to go and who do we want to keep spending money on and who do we want to move out of the barn because it's very expensive to have a horse in training. Uh, w without the equimeter before, you, you would just have to evaluate a horse on, uh, on just pure visualization. Um, and I think this will help trainers be able to recognize if a horse can go a route of ground or maybe sprint a lot easier and maybe tailor a, a training program to that individual. But I think there's a lot of ways to use it. Still getting used to it, still learning uh, information, still uh, learning about all the data, but very impressed so far.